all of your delegates are belong to us. Okay. Oh, man. Uh, take a look at the breaking videos that are starting to come across the blogosphere with regard to Maine. Busted royally, as we say in Hawaii. Busted royally. And see, this is what happened in in Iowa and Nevada and New Hampshire and Florida and South Carolina, except in those states, they had technology where they were able to flip the boats. Go do some research into the huge amount of evidence that those, you know, they're easy hack 100s that you guys are voting on. If you're using a voting machine, it's an easy hack 100. Okay. The, I mean, the programmers themselves coming forward and saying that they were hired to write programs to be able to flip the vote. But in Maine, they weren't able to, so they just didn't count the votes. He won by a landslide in Maine. Uh, he being Ron Paul, not Romney. It wasn't close. Take a look at the Watch the Vote uh, totals. And then the links that I have to that newscast down there. right? Because this is what they happened in, in uh, Ohio. In Ohio, there was a big hullabaloo about them opening up the voting machines, and it turned out that they came preloaded with three to 400 votes for Bush. Right? Okay. But it never made it out of the state of Ohio. The antique media is antique. It's a dinosaur. The theater that, that they're trying to put out, one, is that there is no vote fraud, and two, is that Romney is winning all these things, or it's Santorum, or it's, it's uh, Gingrich. But it's not Ron Paul. Whoever it is, it's not Ron Paul. Okay, you people in, in Maine, you can't let this stand. You just can't. And it needs to get on the blogosphere. Who cares about the mainstream media? They're antique. They're out of date. They're, that's not. I mean, I get no news from them. I don't even have cable anymore. I don't have any kind of TV beaming in. Right? There's no programming coming into my TV. And I use it for... With, it has a DVD, you know, an ancient old VCR attached to it so I can watch videos and stuff like that for, you know, I have young kids that watch Peach Dragon and so forth. But, uh, or, you know, whatever. Fantasia, old movies. But you people in Maine absolutely can't let this stand. Do you understand that your six or seven generations ago, your forefathers picked up muskets and went to war against the most powerful empire on the planet? And you guys can't write a letter? You guys can't make a video? You guys can't stand up and say, hey, my vote wasn't counted? Your forefathers died so you could have your vote counted. Now here's what the cool part, again, theater... Is did the G watch that video carefully? The the main video I have down there that you know says watch this one. Um, did he admit that it's just theater, that it's just a straw poll, and the delegates can vote for whoever they want? <laughs> did he admit that in writing that it's just a straw poll? Right, the delegates are free to go. Okay, see that's what I mean. All delegates are belong to us, <laughs> right? And Ron Paul understands this. This is why you need to become a delegate. Get out there in the caucus states. Get out there. There's thousands more to go. I mean, this is so not thrown just because of Maine. But see, the beautiful thing about Maine is it exposes the GOP. And you need to, in Maine, you need to make sure that some of those people go to jail. You don't just kick them out of the party. They need to go to jail. Straw poll or not, fraud is fraud. Fraud is against the law. The Ron Paul Super PAC needs to hire a, a, a army of lawyers to go after these guys and put them away. And it might take till next year, right? The, the, the election for president may have already happened. But you still need to put these guys away. You don't just look forward, right? When they commit a crime, you prosecute it. That's what, you know, Obama did. He's like, oh, we, we're not going to prosecute for torture. We're just going to look forward. You know, let that all, that's all happened in the past. Right? These were torturers and murderers that he let go. Right? Not even an investigation. Are you guys in Maine going to stand for that? Well, yeah, you are. But, I mean, are you guys in Maine going to stand for letting them steal your votes? Like I said, you guys have a proud heritage. I mean, seriously, you, you can't let it stand. So go authenticate and verify. Now, the rest of you become delegates. I have lots and lots of links. The, I mean, it's no longer whether, well, maybe there was, could it have been vote fraud? Maybe it was, no. It's blatantly clear. Right? The antique media is not going to carry this story. It's not going to get too far outside of Maine. But again, this should be a nonpartisan issue because they can do it to Ron Paul. They can do it to Obama. They can do it to whoever, the Demo you know, in the future, any Democrat that runs against a Republican, any Republican that runs against a Democrat. See, it doesn't matter. They try to put their man in, whoever it is. Just happened to be Obama last time. Happened to be Bush the time before that. 
happened to be Clinton the time before that. And then it was Bush before that. Should be pretty clear. We had like we got a dynasty ruling our nation. The bankers rule. And again, the bankers' agenda is contrary to our agenda. The main issue is the Federal Reserve. Do you understand they want to devalue our dollar by 33%? And it's not a dollar, it's an FRN. The only guy talking about this is Ron Paul, again. Now, the mainstream media and the Democrats and liberals have uh, tried to make this, um, uh, you know, again, theater and story that the uh, Ron Paul supporters are backward, you know, abortion hating, uh, liberal, or not liberal, conservative, you know, tea party, tea bagger, right? Okay, so I went around the internet uh, last night, which is why you can tell, but <laughs> I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, um, and just took a look at all the different people that support Ron Paul. Look at me, and then look at that one, I mean, I have a link to the site, 18-year-old kid, white boy, right? Doesn't matter what color you are, Latinos, doesn't matter what, you know, sex you are, males and females, uh, all races, all creeds, all colors, because liberty is popular. And that, see, that's e pluribus unum, e, unum, e pluribus unum in the United States. My Latin is lacking. Uh, we're of all, we're from all over the world, all colors, all creeds, and we all came to the United States for basically the same reasons. And it wasn't because of the men, it was because of the Constitution. It was because of the ideals of liberty. Individual liberty, like I said, is a new idea, a new concept. Tyranny has always ruled the day. And many people are getting pissed off and angry. And when I say you picked up muskets against the, the British, that was the old, right? The new is peace. The new is not passive resistance in particular, but peaceful resistance, where you make changes politically. You make changes without having to go to war. You make changes without bloodshed, right? Let's try that. That's the new, that's the new thing, peace. Right? This guy Gandhi, right? oh my goodness, Martin Luther King, Ron Paul, talking about peaceful revolution. We should be ashamed of ourselves that we've let our nation come to what, you know, we have strayed so far from the ideals. And it's time to restore the republic. People have had enough. And this, in Maine, is a microcosm for the larger picture. Right? The, the, the fact that these GOP banking, you know, cartel have try to, you know, make sure that the will of the people is not heard, that the will of the people is usurped. Now, you got to get out there, authenticate and verify, work ten times harder. These things are great. Don't get angry. Don't talk about picking up guns and, you know, violent revolution. I mean, yeah, you should have, you know, like myself, uh, righteous indignation, but don't go out and do stupid stuff. Work effectively, work harder, use it as a motivation to go out there and do whatever you can. Become a delegate. Authenticate and verify the vote. Now, this is the thing that has happened in, in New Hampshire, is that these guys got busted royally. I mean, just absolutely busted royal. And what you need to do is make sure that you hold these guys' feet to the fire and some of them go to jail. Because it's fraud, as I said, and what we have is a man that is wildly popular. It's not the 76-year-old white guy. It's the ideals, the Constitution, freedom, and liberty. And controlling our own destiny by controlling our own commerce. Not having a private you know, cartel of central bankers dictate the credit and interest and the currency. And it should be left up to Congress. This is the way our founding fathers you know, left. And this, this is the way it was put in the Constitution, and it was put there for a reason. This is not, these are not archaic ideas, right? That's, again, mainstream media and the establishment trying to mind-wash you into thinking, oh, that document, it's not just a piece of paper, and it's old and useless. We've got a better way. <laughs> let us print our money. Let, you know, let us print your money for you. Let, let us, you know, we know what's going on. Let us buy your uh, politicians for you. Okay, No. And people are waking up and saying no. And like I said, Ron Paul has support that is, it's, it's amazing. I wonder, I mean, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful artistic women, right? Tough women. Uh, yeah, I mean, like Asians and blacks and Mexicans and Latinos, you know, from 
Cuba and people from around the world who don't count, <laughs> but still, right? Popular in Canada and Europe and Africa and uh, all over the place. And the American people need to wake up because, see, their media isn't, you know, quite as uh, biased. Well, it is, but, I mean, they're able to get some news <laughs> from their media once in a while, and they can see Ron Paul. And once they see Ron Paul, they're like, hey, wait a minute. Because I'll tell you, around the world, our Constitution seems to be more popular than it is here at home with our politicians, which is why our Congress has a 9% approval rating. Okay. I, I, I can't stress enough that you people in Maine need to act up peacefully, but you need to, right, absolutely write letter. You can't let that stand. You can't let a caucus that has been totally usurped stand. You just can't. And then, again, it doesn't matter because all your delegates are belong to us. Even the GOP chairman said it. It's the greatest thing. It's just a straw poll. The delegates can vote for whoever they want. So, and that's how it is all over the United States. All these straw polls are just, you know, the straw polls. It's, that's just the theater. You go and vote, and, and we pick the guys for you. Up until quite recently, most of you didn't even understand the delegate process, which is why I have a link to the delegate process down there and how do you can become a delegate. Right? Most of you didn't think there was any vote fraud, <laughs> even when it was blatant and right in front of you. Ron Paul understands the delegate process. So now we have those uh, delegates showing up in droves at the convention, and see the the theater again from mainstream the from the mainstream media, a mainstream theater. If you just call them that, the antique media, is that Ron Paul doesn't have many delegates. He can't win, right? He's been, they've been stuffing that line down your throat. He, he can't win. He's not going to win. He can't win. He's unelectable. He's got the most delegates, <gasps> right? And then you and you can even hear them going, "Oh my gosh." There's great, I don't have them linked because I can't, I won't be able to find all of these things, but the mainstream media pundits know that Ron Paul's got delegates. And when they hear that he has delegates, they're like, oh, because they are in the hip pocket, they are owned by the bankers. Right? They make money off of war. They make money off of the Federal Reserve. Obscene amounts of money, trillions and trillions of dollars. You cannot wrap your mind around numbers this huge. More dollars, more FRNs than there are stars visible in the sky. Think about that. Now, that kind of money buys a government. We need to get our government back. The guy, the figurehead now, like I said, the man that represents this ideal is Ron Paul. He's been speak, talking the talk and walking the walk for 30 years. Okay, the movement needs to continue on no matter what happens. Right? Can't be co-opted. Tea, uh, Tea Party co-opted. They try to, they're trying to co-op uh, Occupy Wall Street. And, you know, make that seem like a bunch of, you know, drugged out hippies that just, you know, they're upset and they're out in the street. Even though there are quite a few very intelligent and, and thoughtful people in the Occupy Wall Street movement. Same thing in the Tea Party. Same thing with Ron Paul. See, what they always try to do is marginalize the people. Because I'll tell you what it is, my friends. It's Americans. We are all Americans. Republican, Democrat, we're all Americans. Libertarian, liberal, conservative, socialist, communist, Hindu, Muslim, Buddhist, Christian, we're all Americans. Unified by the concept of our Constitution. Right? Those truths that are delineated in the Constitution... Okay, that's what unites us. That's what separates us from the, from the rest of the world. We are a nation based on ideals, not men. And it's time to take it back. There's no way they can stop the movement. Because the people are waking up and realizing that the current situation does not benefit the masses. It benefits the few. Get out there and do whatever you can. Right, you, I've, seen, I've got links to other... I mean, just use my links. I went and ordered a hundred cards for, uh, uh, what is it, uh, you know, no taxes on tips, to just put on the, you know, the tray of uh, servers when I go out to restaurants. How hard is that? I mean, just whatever, do whatever you can do, and don't let the things you can't do stop you from doing the things that you can do. Work ten times harder. That's all it is, right? That's all this is, is work. Right? doesn't have to be violent. We don't have to pick up guns. We still have the ballot box, barely, right? We still have the soap box, right? The last resort is the ammo box. 
We're not there yet by any stretch of the imagination. Let's try peace for revolution. All right, Ron Paul, 2012. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout outs to, to all you, you know, Ron Paul girls, and in particular, well, anyway, <laughs> all of you. Uh, thanks for doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. Right? And let's spread the word far and wide about Maine, and let's spread the word far and wide about Ron Paul. <laughs>